everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. And today what we're gonna talk about, we're gonna shift gears a little bit rather than show you a tip or a drill or this and that. And this is what everybody wants to look at. How do I turn my foot? What do I do with my sweep leg? How's my block work? How do I throw 10 feet further? We've covered a ton of that. And all of that is super critical and you have to learn throw. But here's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So if you're not gonna pay attention to this, I guarantee you're gonna slow down your success. There are so many variables, mindset, and how you approach throwing that are really tough. So if, if you're not really wanting to get the most out of this out of your throwing don't watch this video because this is going to talk about some stuff that's not super sexy and it's not how to put your foot here or there or your arm here or your arm there or do this or do that this is going to be some stuff that really makes all of that more applicable here's what we're going to talk about when we teach throwing the challenge is it's two two steps one you have to learn so you really have to learn coaches should be doing drills and having an understanding of what the athlete's going through and then the athlete has to learn that this takes time it's motor learning it's unnatural these are things we talk about all the time at our camps and at the throwing chain reaction system it's like you have to learn all this stuff so step one is what the heck are you doing how does the throw work and so therefore when you start to understand that it's easier to teach so okay so let's let's look at the purpose scenario great i got it i'm neo and the matrix plugged in i know everything there is to know about throwing now what now i go and i'm going to teach everything i know it's absolutely the perfect the most best scientifically researched everything else now here's the reality every athlete's different statistically one percent of throwers make it to the NCAA division one level one percent so that means 99 percent if there's you know you get the you get the math so 99 out of 100 kids they aren't going to an NCAA division one program so think about that that's a pretty high level this goes back to my first point I'm Neo from the matrix and now everything is plugged in I can teach everything perfect the reality of coaching levels and how you're going to implement those programs with things so even if you have the best knowledge the real trick is statistical averages the majority Majority of your athletes are gonna be average athletes. Sorry guys out there. This is not saying that you can't go from average to be very good or even exceptional because you have to put in the right work, right? So you grab a system like the throwing chain reaction and you study the coaching courses and you study the strength training for throwers courses and you do everything you put together and you work, 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 work. It's still gonna take you a ton of time and you can outwork some of your natural inabilities. So that's just the reality. Not everybody has the skill set. Statistically, I have beaten the averages with I've had essentially three 70 foot high school shot putters I got a friend of mine who's had three 210 foot discus throwers I don't think anybody else has ever done that Tony Chirelli Southern California now what makes that great training great coaching all these things and that athlete that has that talent level comes along I've got some athletes that have worked just as hard as my 72 foot shot putter or my 195 foot discus throwers or my 215 foot discus throwers they've worked just as hard they just don't have the tools bottom line when you see these guys at the world level these are the best the best and they're putting together great training great coaching and great ability so remember even if you learn the reality is everybody has different abilities everybody has different timelines for implementation that's what's super important that's the real challenge if you can approach that and understand and not get frustrated not give up right I've had some kids I've had some kids I'm just like I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get this kid to throw far but they keep working I can't give up on that kid so I'm gonna stay just as dedicated and what happens I've had pretty much all those kids have broken through and have achieved Arite Arite right achieving your highest level of excellence your maximum potential that's what Arite is all about we wanted a throws nation of people who wanted to achieve the best they could possibly achieve. So that's really what we wanted to kind of let you know that that's the biggest challenge is even if you know everything, who you're teaching it to, everybody's going to be different. Abilities are going to be different. Timeline to get successful different. This is a long-term development thing. Somebody, we were talking about drills versus feeling. Yeah, if it's an unnatural movement. So if you don't move well naturally, well, you better do drills because then you would learn to put it together. That's what our system combines, position training and movement training. And we put them and we do them intertwined all the time so we can can move fast and get better results. Remember that when you're going to learn, learn, be dedicated, put in your time, but remember everybody's got a different timeline. That's the real secret. That's the real hard part about being a coach or a thrower. Don't give up. The goal is to achieve the best you can possibly achieve. And for many of you, that's going to be the next level. And for many of you, that's going to be school record or the best on your team or going to a state championship and having a great career that you remember for the rest of your life. So thanks so much for watching guys. Keep that in mind. We'll see you on the next video.